Logan as a whole has expanded over a small amount of time, the amount of things that everyone has done to make Logan feel more at home is actually really impressive. And we started by taking taking some of the sidewalks out and planting flowers. People are seeing this concrete thing of beauty coming on, getting the the uh, the feeling of, of enthusiasm and pride in their community. A lot of young talent has also been shown growing and expanding lately, whether that be music or art or any other skill that they hold. There are more restaurants coming here too, such as Maya Burrito, Froyo, Old Willikers Cafe, Family Diner, and some old favorites being Penny's Pastries Bakery to give that warm, small town feeling. And there are a lot more factors to Logan than just the center. Logan as a whole is an amazing place too. Every building has history. For example, this is Logan in 1956, and this is Logan nowadays. Everyone chips in to help make Logan a better place, whether that's helping plant trees and flowers or that's sharing their talents. And this can be anybody, teachers, students, bankers, musicians, gardeners, and more. While this is all exciting, what does the future hold for Logan? Um, it is um, a, a great canvas for building up on walking spaces, on um, having community events, and it's just got the right atmosphere, and we think it's absolutely right, the right time to build them up. So the first step for us was to open this, this shop as a, a, a tactical measure to try to encourage, first of all, to give our local artists and craftsmen and authors and musicians a place for them to sell uh, their wares. So to provide a retail outlet for all of those folks. Uh, the local talent here is amazing. Uh, considering what a small town it is, um, it just attracts uh, musicians and artists. I have had such tremendous respect for this area ever since I realized how highly valued music and art is. Rarely do you go home from a vacation with a great Walmart story, you know, but if you if you've walked into a shop like this that is full of local art, local crafts, books that were written by local artists, music that was created by local musicians, then you go home with a story.